in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit. sisters and brothers most welcome this mass is being offered for evelyn boysno and this is the feast of the epiphany of the lord friends as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries now let us call to mind our sins and ask for god's mercy and forgiveness I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to be to behold the beauty of your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. 
Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together, they come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice, because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you, the young camels of Midian and Epa. All those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. The Lord, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to a king's son. May he judge your people with righteousness and your poor with justice. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. In his days may righteousness flourish and peace abound until the moon is no more. May he have dominion from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. May the kings of Tarshish and the, of the isles render him tribute. May the kings of Sheba and Seba bring gifts. May all kings fall down before him. All nations give him service. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he delivers the needy one who calls, the poor and the one who has no helper. He has pity on the weak and the needy, and saves the lives of the needy. Lord, Lord every, every nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, surely you have already heard of the commission of God's grace that was given me for you, and how the mystery was made known to me by revelation. In former generations, this mystery was not made known to humankind, as it, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is, the Gentiles have come fellow heirs members of the same body, and sharers in the promise of Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and they have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea. For so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men, and he learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The Gospel of the Lord. The word epiphany means appearance, manifestation, or showing forth. In the Western Church, the feast commemorates the coming of the Magi as the first manifestation of Christ to the Gentiles. In the Eastern Church, this feast primarily commemorates the baptism of Christ. The angels revealed Jesus to the shepherds, and the star revealed him to the holy magi. Later, God the Father revealed Jesus' identity as his beloved son at his baptism in the river Jordan. In the synagogue of Nazareth, Jesus revealed himself as the promised Messiah. These multiple revelations are all suggested by the feast of the Epiphany. With this introduction, we proceed to the message of the day. We observe here three groups of people who reacted to the Epiphany of Christ's birth. The first group, headed by King Herod, who looked at it with hatred and suspicion, and who considered the child as his future rival for the kingdom, and so wanted and tried to eliminate him. The second group, priests and scribes, who maintained a total indifference and hence ignored him. 
and a third group represented by the shepherds and the magi who, who came with life surrender and adoration. Friends, let us make sure that we belong to the third group, group of the shepherds and the wise men. By worshipping Jesus at Mass with the gold of our love, the mirror of our humility, and the frankincense of our adoration, let us offer him our very selves, promising God that we will use his blessings by doing good for our sisters and our brothers. Then, by choosing a better path for ourselves, for, for our lives, just as the holy kings choose another route to return to their home, let us choose a better way of life, abstaining from proud and impure thoughts, evil habits, addictions, and selfish behavior, and actively doing acts of charity. Then, by becoming the star leading others to Jesus, as the star led the Magi to him, we can help to remove the darkness of evil around us by being like burning candles, radiating Jesus' love in selfless service, unconditional forgiveness, and compassionate care. Like the Magi, let us offer Jesus our gifts on this Feast of Epiphany. First, let us offer him our gifts of friendship with God and uh, friendship with others. Next, let us offer to Jesus the gift of reconciliation with God and others by working to repair broken relationships with God and in and outside our families. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His Holy Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and He is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My sisters and brothers, trusting in the saving power of God, revealed in Christ to the nations, let us draw near to him with the joy and hope and offer our gifts of prayer for the Church and those in need. For the Church, light of revelation to the nations, for the rich diversity of people who reveal God's many gifts, and for all the ministers of God's Holy Church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this country, its people and leaders, for public officials and those who serve the common good, and for those who manifest and uphold the dignity of all human beings. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people of humble heart who search for God, for nations clouded by ethnic and racial prejudice, and for all who reflect God's goodness to others, 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those seeking employment, housing and safety, for those who search for truth, and for those seeking a deeper relationship with Christ through the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the recovering, the homebound, and the hospitalized, especially Connie Wall, Philip Paracal, Kitty Patnode, Samantha Pierre, Teresa Aikman, and for their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the spiritual and physical well-being of all parishioners and visitors, for all who have died recently, Lucy Albert, Tommy James McKill, Herman Vanderbell, and those who mourn them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our benefactors and volunteers, and for Evelyn Boissonneau, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all travelers in this holiday season, and for the personal and family intentions of each one attending this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose glory pierces the darkness of the earth in the light of a star and reveals the glory of your Son, graciously hear our prayers that the light of your Spirit revealed in your word may guide us to the splendor of your kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash me my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with the favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now and not gold or frankincense or myrrh, 
but uh, he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed and received Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly a right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations and when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with the thrones and minions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the saints, pray graciously make you holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving portion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the blessing of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile us to yourself, 
Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May He make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, and glorious martyrs with the saints Cecilia and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Evelyn Boissano, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in her resurrection. When from the earth he will rise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lovely body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed sisters and brothers too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine mercy, be there to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Go before us with a heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with the true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate. Through Christ our Lord. Friends, now we go with the prayer. Heavenly Father, in these trying days, we humbly seek your guidance, wisdom, protection, and help in regards to the COVID-19 pandemic. That you would grant speedy recovery to those inflicted with the virus and protection to those who have not come into contact with it. We admit to you, O Lord, that you are the only authority and power to see us through this situation, for we are mere mortal people totally reliant on you and you alone. As your son Jesus taught us, look to your heavenly Father above for all things, and it will be granted unto you. So, merciful Father, we trust in you and the words of your dear son Jesus to look after us in this time and every time. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God who has called you out of darkness into his wonderful light, 
pour out in kindness his blessings upon you and make you make your hearts firm in faith hope and charity Amen. and since in all confidence you follow Christ who today appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness may god make you too a light for your sisters and brothers Amen. and so when your pilgrimage is ended may you come to him whom the magi sought as they followed the star and whom they found with the great joy the light from light who is christ the lord Amen. and may the blessing of almighty god the father son and the holy spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever Amen. may he send it go in peace glorifying the lord by your life thanks, thanks be to god, god.